Hey, this is Coach John Wolf with On It, and a popular question I have to answer is, what's the best starting kettlebell weight for beginners? And right here we have a full line of weights that I usually suggest. Let's go over a little bit why the kettlebell weight selection is so important. One, most men overestimate the amount of weight that they need to use to get a great training effect with kettlebells. Now, the thing about kettlebell training is it's all full body training and the limiting factors to you getting a good workout are often grip and core endurance and secondary skill development. So in terms of starting kettlebell weight for men, generally we hang out in these two kettlebells right here. We have, if you've been indoctrinated into the iron game you have a bit of a training age you know what it is to move weight around hey you might move a bar or dumbbells around pretty often generally speaking i recommend a 16 kilo kettlebell this is 35 pounds approximately and that might sound light to many of you but remember you're moving this thing around more dynamically than most of your dumbbell or barbell work and for more reps usually also for less rest in terms of your rest intervals. So now that's if you've been moving iron around, if you're new to both iron and kettlebells though, generally speaking, I recommend this 12 kilo bell. This is an awesome weight to get you to develop some coordination, strength, and develop skill with the kettlebell without being too distracted by selecting a weight that's a little too heavy too soon. Both of these kettlebells are awesome and you'll be able to learn and play with them for a lifetime to come as you develop your kettlebell skills and strength. Now, for the ladies, it's really important to acknowledge the opposite truth is often the case. A lot of y'all underestimate your ability to move weight. And with kettlebells, there's a sweet spot in terms of weight selection for you as well. Yes, if you're using dumbbells and you're used to five pound, three pound, or really small increments, that may be very useful for the type of fitness you're using. But with kettlebells, the sweet spot generally is these two weights here. We have an eight kilo kettlebell. This is 18 pounds. And for some of you, that might sound heavy, but remember, full body exercise, using your whole body as a coordinated machine to move this weight and learning how to use from head to toe all your musculature to do so. This is a great weight if you've done, if you develop some strength or familiarity with conventional exercise, dumbbells, barbells at all, 18 pounds, eight kilos, awesome starting weight. Now, if you're new to weight training in general and new to kettlebells as well, then this six kilo kettlebell, so it's right around the 13 pound mark, five pounds less than the original prescription, is gonna be awesome for you to really move the weight, have enough weight in hand to get an awesome training effect, have a lot of fun, but not be overwhelmed in the process. Hey, these are the best kettlebell weights, no matter where you are starting in your kettlebell journey, new to iron, been experienced in the iron game, I still suggest this weight range for everyone to start. Now that we've talked a little bit about what weight is appropriate to start with, let's talk about other factors that you should take into consideration when you pick out your first kettlebell. Now, I might be partial to the Onyx kettlebell line because I helped redesign them a couple times, but let's go over things that I thought about in helping design these bells that you should think about when you pick out your perfect bell. One is the diameter of the handle. Many times people will tout a thicker handle because it will increase the amount of grip, strength, and endurance required. Unfortunately, the downside is if you're learning to use kettlebells for fitness, a big limiting factor to your ability to get the best workout will be pre-fatiguing your hands. So ideally we find a handle that's gonna fit in your hand comfortably. So the diameter of the handle being bigger is not necessarily better as you want to build your grip, strength, and endurance. Second, is the window height here between the base of the bottom of this handle and the top of the kettlebell itself, the ball of iron. We want this window to allow the kettlebell to rest not on the bony part of your forearm, but on the soft tissue on the back of your forearm, the extensor muscles. Now, if the kettlebell rests on that musculature, it can not bruise the bone, right? It won't bruise you up as badly. Now, when you learn how to use kettlebells, that's one of the most frequent complaints is when you learn to do dynamic drills, if that bell doesn't rest appropriately in the right spot, it creates discomfort. So the most comfortability is gonna be what we're shooting for here. 
Now, when we talk about comfort, one thing that really comes into play is the quality of the coating. These are powder coated bells. Now, powder coating is nice because it has a little bit of grip. You don't want it too smooth in your hands. It'll create a lot of co like friction coefficient in terms of like the skin wanting to uh, create calluses or even blister and peel off. Just the sweet spot of a little bit of friction, but allow for the hand to move around that handle freely. The key is that we want a little bit of friction and not too much, but also that we don't want any burrs. So high quality kettlebells should have a little bit of texture, but no sharp edges. Sharp edges, especially around the handle or anywhere that's gonna come into contact with your body, gonna make for a bad training experience altogether. Now, last but not least, you notice that these kettlebells on the handles are color coded. This makes it easy to visually ascertain, well, what weight am I working with? And guess what? Each one corresponds to a specific weight. So this baby blue corresponds to, it says six kilograms or 13 pounds, clearly labeled on the kettlebell. So you don't have to figure it out, right? Even though you see the baby blue, you see the corresponding weights. The pink, eight kilo, 18 pounds. This was that starter weight for gals that train with the iron already. This dark blue, same thing. We have a nice clear marking, 12 kilo or 26 pounds. The guys starter weight who don't move iron yet. And back to that yellow, you see that that weight, 16 kilo, 35 pounds. This is our starter weight for guys that already move iron in some way, shape or form. All right, with all of this kettlebell talk, another question often comes into play. Hey John, when is it that I should step up to the next kettlebell weight? And oftentimes the answer is, eh, it kind of depends, but there's some pretty good guidelines. One, the first area that you're gonna find your kettlebell weight, you're wanting the next step up, is when your lower body endurance really starts to excel. And in that case, the great way to get you to familiarize yourself to the next kettlebell weight is to hold that heavy kettlebell in whichever position you're going to do so while you're doing your lower body exercises. That's going to increase that grip strength that we said is often the limiting factor while building that lower body engine that's going to keep the bells moving. Second, if you can do an overhead press with the bell super slow for five reps and you could do that for set over set, chances are that's going to be time to move up to the next weight and it's important to have these kind of qualifying factors in your head because if you notice the jump in increments from kettlebell to kettlebell are often in kilos so four kilos roughly it's nine ish pounds that's a little bit bigger of a jump than we've traditionally seen in dumbbell five pound increments so what that means is we have to often get creative using those tempos, understanding that our lower body strength and endurance will increase faster than our upper body strength and endurance for many trainees is gonna be something that you take into consideration when you invest in the next increment up. But guess what? The great thing with kettlebells is no matter what weight you started with here, you'll be able to use them forever. And as you step up, it only increases the options and the opportunity to fall deeper in love with kettlebell training. Hey, what are you waiting for? If you're ready to pick up some Onnit Bells, go ahead and click that link right above or the text link in the description.